A to Z. Atticus were amphibious, which means that they lived on both land and water. As amphibians, they were able to breathe underwater, kind of like fish. Like turtles, Atticus carried their homes, their shells, around with them all the time. Turtle shells are made up entirely of bone and are usually hard in order to protect them from predators. Atticus most likely ate plants, but may have also fed on small animals. Like modern turtles, Atticus were turtles that could pull their heads into their shells. Alamosaurus was a huge, long-necked dinosaur. It was one of the last sauropods that lived in the Mesozoic era. Alamosaurus was one of the last sauropod dinosaurs to live in the Mesozoic era. Alamosaurus was a plant-eating sauropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Alamosaurus was huge, weighing 30 tons and measuring about 50 feet in length. Like other sauropods, it had a very long neck and a long tail. Allosaurus had a small horn over each eye. The horns may have helped Allosaurus to recognize others of its kind. Allosaurus is the state fossil of Utah. The Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry in central eastern Utah preserves remains of dozens of allosaurs. Allosaurus was one of the dominant carnivores in North America that lived in the Jurassic many millions of years before Tyrannosaurus rex. Allosaurus juveniles had longer legs than adults, making them fast runners. Scientists think that young Allosaurus needed to run fast in order to keep up with the adults, which took larger steps. Amargosaurus was a giant sauropod with two rows of spines down its back. The spines may have been attached to one another by skin, creating the appearance of a huge sail on its back. While Amargosaurus looked like other sauropods with its long neck and small head, it was very unique. It had two rows of tall spines down its neck and back. Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bodies, and large appetites. Scientists believe the spines on an Amargosaurus could have helped defend against predators, communicate with other Amargosaurus, or control body temperature. Ankylosaurus was covered from head to toe with bony armor. The bony club at the end of its tail was used in defending against predators. The body of the Ankylosaurus was covered in bony knobs and plates called osteoderms that functioned like armor for protection against predators. Ankylosaurus was a large and heavy quadruped, which means it walked on four legs. It was also a herbivore, which means it only ate the green stuff, plants. Ankylosaurus was a large armored dinosaur measuring up to 30 feet long. Scientists believe it could have weighed up to 13,000 pounds. That's about the weight of an armored tank. Apatosaurus was a giant dinosaur that had to eat huge amounts of food every day to support its size. Apatosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic time period. 
Apatosaurus had chisel-like teeth located in the front of its jaws, which it used to grab plant food. A lot of plant food. Apatosaurus was a huge plant eater that grew up to 75 feet long and weighed as much as four elephants. Archaeopteryx, sometimes called first bird, was a small meat-eating dinosaur that lived in the late Jurassic time period. Archaeopteryx had long feathers on its legs and arms. It may have used its feathered arms to help run up steep hills. Archaeopteryx was probably a poor flyer and might have hunted on the ground. Archaeopteryx was about the size of a modern-day crow and likely fed on a diet of small animals, including fish and insects. Birds and dinosaurs, particularly small theropod dinosaurs like Archaeopteryx, are closely related. Some similar features are walking on two legs, a long bony tail, feathers, and lightweight bones. Like other sea turtles, Archelon had to come out of the water to make a nest on the beach and lay its eggs. It would then return to the ocean, leaving the young turtles to fend for themselves. Archelon was a giant sea turtle that lived during the Cretaceous time period. Like giant sea turtles today, Archelon may have fed on jellyfish. Growing up to 13 feet long and 16 feet wide, Archelon is the biggest turtle we know of. Argentinosaurus was bigger than 10 Tyrannosaurs put together. Being a big dinosaur meant that you had to constantly eat. Argentinosaurus could probably eat as much food as would fill a pickup truck. That's a lot of vegetables. Argentinosaurus is the largest plant-eating dinosaur ever discovered from the late Cretaceous time period. It was found in Argentina, South America. This dinosaur reached 130 feet long and weighed up to 100 tons. A single vertebrae of Argentinosaurus was the size of a refrigerator. Avasaurus are known to be from the Rocky Mountains and the humid low-lying swamps, lakes, and river basins of the Western Interior Seaway. Avasaurus lived in the Cretaceous time period in what is now North America. This flying dinosaur was probably a carnivore, eating small animals like lizards and mammals. Avasaurus were birds with three-toed feet that were part of the group of mammals called theropods. Brachiosaurus had longer front limbs than hind limbs. Many paleontologists think that it held its neck straight up like a modern giraffe to reach leaves high in the trees. Brachiosaurus fossils were found in both North America and Africa. This enormous sauropod was very slow moving, slower than any carnivore of its time. Brachiosaurus, like other plant-eating animals, had broad teeth that would have been great for stripping vegetation off trees. Brachiosaurus had a rounded crest made of thin bone attached to its snout. Scientists believe the crest was likely used to show off. Castrocauda means beaver tail because it had a flattened tail like a beaver and likely used it for swimming, just as modern-day beavers do. 
Although Castracauda was relatively small at less than two pounds, it is the largest known mammal or mammal-like creature from the Jurassic. Castracauda appears to have been a fish eater. Castracauda had enlarged front limbs with indications of strong muscles. This suggested that these limbs were used for digging. Chirostenotes means narrow hand because it had three long clawed fingers on each hand. Chirostenotes had a beak, a lot like a big bird without teeth. They also had long arms with powerful claws that probably helped them catch prey and pick plants for food. Chirostenotes was an omnivore, which means they ate both meat and plants, just like many humans. They ate plants, eggs, small animals, and insects. Chirostenotes was a bipedal dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous time period. According to the few fossils found, scientists believe Chirostenotes was about 9 to 10 feet tall. Simolestes was an early mammal that lived in the woodlands of North America and Africa during the Cretaceous time period. During the age of dinosaurs, mammals were small and often lived in trees. It wasn't until the dinosaurs died out that mammals started to evolve into larger species. The name Simolestes means bug thief as they likely fed on bugs and insects. Simolestes are known from their fossilized teeth, as their delicate bones did not survive weather and time. Simolestes was probably about eight inches long and weighed about half a pound. Confuciusornis was a crow-sized bird with a toothless beak and a very long tail of feathers. Confuciusornis lived in the early Cretaceous time period, about 124 million years ago. Fossils have been found in China, hence the name Confuciusornis, after the Chinese philosopher Confucius. Scientists think that Confuciusornis was most likely an omnivore. Confuciusornis were birds about the size of a modern-day crow. They were also one of the first known birds ever to have a beak. Corythosaurus had a crest on its head that may have been used to communicate with other Corythosaurus. Corythosaurus walked primarily on two legs but scientists think they may have used all four legs when eating low plants on the ground. Corythosaurus was a herbivore, and like other hadrosaurs or duck-billed dinosaurs, it had a beak with hundreds of small, flat teeth in the back, perfect for grinding up plants. Corythosaurus was a duck-billed dinosaur that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous time period. Corythosaurus means helmet lizard and was named after the shape of its crest. Cretoxyrhina, also known as Ginzu shark, was a shark that lived in the western interior sea during the late Cretaceous time period. Its teeth grew up to two inches long. The age of dinosaurs included some truly giant animals, most of which are gone today. The great white shark is a descendant of Cretoxyrhina and can give clues to what it may have looked like. Cretoxyrhina ate large bony fish and occasionally fed on giant reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. Its teeth have been found embedded in the bones of other animals.
Like modern sharks, the skeleton of Cretoxyrhina was not made of bone, but of cartilage. Cartilage does not normally fossilize. However, some complete specimens of Cretoxyrhina have been found. Cryolophosaurus was discovered on the southern continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica is extremely cold and icy. But during the age of the dinosaur, Antarctica was much warmer with lush green forest. Cryolophosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur that grew up to 25 feet long. It probably walked on its hind legs, had small forearms, and might have resembled Allosaurus. Cryolophosaurus was a large meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic time period. During the Jurassic, Antarctica was closer to the equator and was part of a large continent called Pangaea. Cryolophosaurus had an odd bony crest on its head that looked like a funny hairdo. Scientists nicknamed this dinosaur Elvisaurus because its furrowed crest resembled the hairdo of Elvis Presley. Despletosaurus lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period. It is closely related to its much larger cousin, Tyrannosaurus. Recent research shows that Despletosaurus and other Tyrannosaurs grew quite slowly when small, then went through a major growth spurt in their teen years. Despletosaurus was a meat-eating Tyrannosaur. Like T-Rex, it too was the top predator of its time, though it lived long before Tyrannosaurus Rex. Despletosaurus means frightful lizard. This huge carnivore grew to a length of 26 to 30 feet. With its massive skull and rows of sharp teeth, this would have been a dinosaur to be frightened of. Deinonychus was a feathered dinosaur that was about 11 feet long. Deinonychus is from the Greek words terrible and claw. Deinonychus was named this due to the large toe claws they had on each hind foot, which they used for hunting. Deinonychus were carnivorous predators. Their skulls had powerful jaws lined with almost 60 sharp blade-like teeth. These teeth and their big toe claws were useful for hunting and eating prey. Fossils of Deinonychus have been found throughout North America. Scientists have discovered that Deinonychus lived during the early Cretaceous time period. Dinosuchus and all other crocodiles are reptiles, but they aren't dinosaurs. In fact, birds are the closest relatives of dinosaurs living today. Dinosuchus was a giant crocodile that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Dinosuchus probably hunted a variety of animals, including turtles, fish, and even dinosaurs. Dinosuchus is one of the biggest crocodiles that ever lived, growing up to 40 feet long and weighing more than eight tons. Dilophosaurus had a pair of thin bony crests on the top of its head that was probably used for showing off to other Dilophosaurus. The name Dilophosaurus means two crested lizard because it had a pair of thin bony crests on top of its head. The crests were probably used for showing off to other Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was likely a great hunter. But like most carnivores, it was probably a scavenger, too, eating meat from animals that it did not kill.
Dilophosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the Jurassic time period. Diplodocus lived in the Jurassic time period and had one of the longest necks of any dinosaur. Diplodocus was a sauropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the Jurassic time period. Rather than reaching up high in the trees like a giraffe, this sauropod probably held its neck out nearly straight, eating plants closer to the ground. Diplodocus grew close to a hundred feet long, but most of that length came from its long neck and tail. In fact, Diplodocus had one of the longest necks of any dinosaur. Ineosaurus was a short-frilled ceratopsian dinosaur, which is the group that includes all horned dinosaurs. Ineosaurus lived in large groups or herds to protect against predators. Living in large groups, huge dinosaur herds had to stay on the move since they would quickly eat all the plants in an area. Ineosaurus was a large quadrupedal plant-eating dinosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Adult Ineosaurus had a large forward curving horn over the nose, a small horn over each eye, and a pair of large spikes projecting rearward from their big bony frill on the back of their head. Elasmosaurus most likely gave birth to its young life, like modern day dolphins or whales. Elasmosaurus was a marine reptile that lived in coastal regions during the late Cretaceous time period. Elasmosaurus was not a dinosaur. It belongs to a group of marine reptiles called plesiosaurs. Elasmosaurus had sharp teeth and a strong bite. It ate fish and other sea animals. Elasmosaurus had the longest neck of any creature, living or extinct, which was more than half its body length. Elasmosaurus had 70 vertebrae, compared to humans who have only seven. Enantiornithines were a type of bird that lived throughout the late Jurassic and Cretaceous time periods. Enantiornithine fossils indicate that they have long tails like that of modern birds. Many scientists believe that this helped them fan and create lift as they flew. Enantiornithines were omnivores that thrived on a variety of available berries, fruit, bugs, and meat. Enantiornithines were theropods with a skeletal structure similar to a modern-day bird. Their fossils have been found throughout the world. Some paleontologists believe they were migrating birds. Eoraptor lived during the Triassic period and is one of the oldest known dinosaurs. It belongs to a group of dinosaurs called theropods, which also includes the Tyrannosaurus. Eoraptor's hands had five digit-like fingers. The three middle digits were the longest and had large claws that were helpful in handling prey. Eoraptor were about three feet tall and weighed about 20 pounds. Standing on their two hind legs and three-toed feet, they were very fast runners, which helped them catch prey. Fossils of Eoraptor have been found in Argentina, making scientists believe that this dinosaur lived over 225 million years ago in the Triassic time period. Euoplocephalus was a tank-like dinosaur 
covered in bony armor with a club at the end of its tail that was probably used to defend against the meat-eating Tyrannosaur. Euoplocephalus was one of the shortest dinosaurs relative to the length of its body. Euoplocephalus was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived in the Cretaceous time period. It was a smaller version of its armor-plated relative, Ankylosaurus. Euclocephalus had armor plating and spikes with a club-like tail that might have been used for defense. It is the first ankylosaur that had armored eyelids that slid over its eyes for protection. Fabrosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Africa during the Jurassic time period. Like many other dinosaur herbivores, Fabrosaurus had a beak up front for grabbing plants and teeth behind for slicing them up. Fabrosaurus was a plant eater or herbivore. Fabrosaurus was a small animal, only about three feet long, that moved around on its hind legs. Gallimimus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Just like ostriches, Gallimimus were fast runners. Paleontologists aren't sure what Gallimimus ate. Some think they were herbivores feeding only on plants. Others think they were omnivores eating small animals and plants. Gallimimus belongs to a group of theropods called ornithomimids, which look a lot like ostriches living today. Giganotosaurus was one of the largest known meat-eating dinosaurs. It was more than 40 feet long. Giganotosaurus were bipedal, just like Tyrannosaurus rex. That means they walked on two feet. They are also considered theropods because of features like three-toed feet and their carnivorous diet. Giganotosaurus were huge carnivores that lived during the late Cretaceous time period. Fossils of Giganotosaurus have been found in the Patagonia region of Argentina. Giganotosaurus were a little bit larger in size than Tyrannosaurus rex and slightly smaller than Spinosaurus. The teeth of Giganotosaurus were eight inches long and serrated for chewing meat. Hadrosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. The name Hadrosaurus means sturdy lizard. It was the first dinosaur to have its skeleton mounted in a museum. Hadrosaurus was a plant eater or an herbivore. Growing to about 30 feet long, Hadrosaurus was a giant. It may have walked on four legs when moving slowly and two legs when going faster. Hesperornis were birds that lived during the late Cretaceous time period. They were very unique animals because they had wings, but didn't really fly. They mostly swam underwater. By looking at fossils of Hesperornis, scientists think they were probably most comfortable in the water because their bodies were not constructed to walk or run very well on land. Hesperornis had teeth in their beak, which scientists believe helped them catch and eat fish. Hesperornis had very flexible feet and toes, which helped propel and slow them down while swimming underwater. 
one of the first dinosaurs discovered, Iguanodon was a large dinosaur that lived in Europe during the early part of the Cretaceous time period. Iguanodon hands were like tools, the middle three fingers used for support, the long and slender pinky probably for grasping items, the thumb was like a spike for fighting or gathering food. Iguanodon was a large plant-eating dinosaur. Iguanodon had a beak for cropping plants, walked slowly on four legs or quickly on two legs, and its hands could be used for walking, grasping, and perhaps even piercing. Jaxartosaurus is closely related to other crested hadrosaurs, like Corythosaurus and Parasaurolophus. Jaxartosaurus had a big, helmet-like crest that was probably used for showing off, making noise, and recognizing members of its own kind. Like other hadrosaurs, Jaxartosaurus ate plants. Jaxartosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Jehelornis was a bird that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Like all birds, Jehelornis was a theropod dinosaur. Unlike birds living today, Chehalornis had teeth and may have been a seed eater. Chehalornis was about the size of a turkey, but with a long bony tail. Tentrosaurus was a relatively small armored stegosaur dinosaur from the late Jurassic time period. The plates of Kentrosaurus were too small to be used for controlling body temperature. They were most likely used for display. The tail spikes could have been used as weapons against predators. Kentrosaurus was a slow-moving plant eater that was found in Africa. Kentrosaurus had a tiny brain, one of the smallest known for a dinosaur. Kentrosaurus differs from Stegosaurus in having more spikes and fewer plates. These spikes started about midway down the back and extended the length of the tail. They also had shoulder spikes. Cosmoceratops was a plant-eating ceratopsian dinosaur from the Cretaceous time period. Its name means ornamented horned face. Cosmoceratops belongs to the same group of dinosaurs as Triceratops and Ineosaurus. Like other ceratopsians, Cosmoceratops was a herbivore. Cosmoceratops had the most ornate skull of any known dinosaur. It had large horns above its eyes that pointed to the side and 10 smaller horns across the back of its bony frill. Lambiosaurus is a duck-billed dinosaur with a hollow head crest made of bone. The crest was probably used to make sounds for communicating with other Lambiosaurus. Scientists think that Lambiosaurus used its crest for long-distance communication to tell how far away their fellow Lambiosaurus were. This herbivore probably stood on its hind legs while reaching into the conifer trees to munch on pine cones and pine needles.
Lambiosaurus was a large, duck-billed hadrosaur from the late Cretaceous time period. This dinosaur is known for its distinctive hollow cranial crest. Lizotosaurus was a small, three-foot-long dinosaur from the early Jurassic time period. It was named after the country Lizotto in South Africa, where the first fossil remains were found. Lizotosaurus had small serrated and pointed front teeth along the jaw that looked like arrowheads and were well suited for chewing plants. Its head was small with large eye sockets. Like many other plant-eating dinosaurs, Lizotosaurus had a beak in the front of its mouth and back teeth that were used to slice up plants. Lizotosaurus had short front limbs that had four grasping fingers and a smaller stub for a fifth finger. Its long hind legs were well suited for fast and agile running. Myasaura was a duck-billed dinosaur named the Good Mother because some paleontologists think it looked after its babies after they hatched. Unlike the large hollow crests of Corythosaurus, Lambiosaurus, and Parasaurolophus, Myasaura had a small solid crest that was not used for hooting. Myasaura was a large plant-eating dinosaur that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous time period. Scientists have discovered bones of juvenile and adult Myasaura together in the same site. This suggests they traveled in herds to protect their young and nested in colonies. Mashikasaurus was a small dinosaur known only from the island of Madagascar and was the size of a big dog. In Malagasy, the language spoken in Madagascar, Mashika means vicious. The name Mashikasaurus means vicious lizard. The lower front teeth of Mashikasaurus pointed forward and slightly up rather than straight up, like in other dinosaurs. It likely survived on a diet of small animals, fish, birds, lizards, and snakes. Mashikasaurus was a small, buck-toothed carnivore that lived during the late Cretaceous time period. It had a long neck and tail, walked on two feet, and weighed as much as a German shepherd. Megalosaurus lived in what is now present-day Europe. Megalosaurus grew to about 30 feet long. Like other theropods, it was bipedal, moving around on two legs and using its long tail to help with balance. This big carnivore probably hunted a variety of plant-eating dinosaurs. Megalosaurus was a giant theropod dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic time period. Its name means Great Lizard. Megaraptor had huge jaws lined with sharp teeth and curved claws on its hands that were probably used to catch prey. Megaraptor was a big theropod dinosaur that lived in South America during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means giant thief. Megaraptor was a large meat-eating theropod. Like other theropods, Megaraptor had three-toed feet and huge jaws lined with sharp teeth. Some Michelinoceras were apparently deep divers, diving more than six miles below the ocean surface. 
Michelinus Eris was an ancient squid-like nautiloid that lived before and long after the dinosaurs were extinct. It lived in the Triassic Seas, where it was a major predator. Michelinus Eris was a carnivore, perhaps diving to great depths to feed on other sea animals. The soft, squid-like body of Michelinus Eris had many tentacles and grew a long, conical shell that looked like an upside-down ice cream cone. One of the smallest dinosaurs ever to be discovered. Microraptors were only between one and three feet long and weighed less than three pounds. Scientists believe that Microraptor used its wings for gliding rather than flying. Microraptor lived in trees and would glide from perch to perch using their wings to maneuver. This Cretaceous carnivore may have lived mostly in the trees, using its sharp teeth to feed on small animals and even insects. Microraptor is often described as having four wings, since it had feathers on its arms and legs. It also had feathers on its tail, much like modern birds. Mosasaurus was huge, growing up to 50 feet long. That's bigger than a T-Rex. Mosasaurus belongs to a group of marine reptiles called mosasaurs, closely related to modern-day lizards, like the Komodo dragon. Mosasaurus probably ate a variety of animals such as fish, turtles, ammonites, maybe even smaller mosasaurs. Mosasaurus was a meat-eating marine reptile that lived during the Cretaceous time period. Nodosaurus was a plant-eating armored dinosaur or ankylosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means knobbed lizard. Nodosaurus moved around slowly on four legs. Unable to run away from predators, it probably used its bony armor for protection. Nodosaurus was a herbivore, eating plants that grew close to the ground. Nodosaurus grew to be about 20 feet long. Like other ankylosaurs, it was covered in bony armor from the tip of its nose to the end of its tail. Ophthalmosaurus was a marine reptile that lived in the Jurassic time period. It belongs to a group of carnivores called ichthyosaurs, which look a lot like dolphins. Instead of coming out onto the land to lay eggs like most reptiles, Ophthalmosaurus gave birth to live young in the water. Ophthalmosaurus probably ate a variety of animals like fish and squid. Ophthalmosaurus had a streamlined body that helped it swim fast, maybe up to 40 miles per hour. Ornithomimus was a bipedal dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous time period in western North America. Ornithomimus had short arms with three clawed fingers on each hand and long legs with three clawed toes on each foot. It belongs to the group of dinosaurs scientists call theropods. Scientists think that Ornithomimus was most likely an omnivore.
Ornithomimus, with its small head, long neck, and long, powerful legs, looked like an ostrich with a long tail. Oryctodromius used its arms and snout to dig burrows for protection and care for their young. Burrowing allowed these dinosaurs to live in areas with extreme weather conditions. Oryctodromius was a bipedal herbivore that lived in the Cretaceous time period. Scientists discovered this dinosaur in a burrow, which was something never before associated with dinosaurs. Oryctodromius was a fast-running herbivore. Oryctodromius had a number of features that made it well-suited for digging, including a snout for shoveling, strong arms for digging, and sturdy hip bones to brace it while digging. Oviraptor was a feathered theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means egg thief. After making a nest and laying a clutch of eggs, oviraptors sat on their nests just like many birds do, using their body heat and insulating feathers to keep the eggs warm. Oviraptor probably fed on a variety of small animals, and some paleontologists think it ate plants, too. Oviraptor had a large crest on its head that was most likely used for show and all. Its body was probably covered in feathers. Pachycephalosaurus lived alongside Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus rex near the end of the Cretaceous time period. Growing up to 20 feet long, Pachycephalosaurus was a two-legged herbivore walking on its hind limbs. Pachycephalosaurus was a plant eater or herbivore. Pachycephalosaurus was a dome-headed pachycephalosaur dinosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means thick-headed lizard. Paleobatrachus was a large frog that lived in the water. By comparing the bones of this ancient frog to those frogs living today, Scientists think it can hold its breath for a long time. Since they hunted at night and slept during the day, Paleobatrachus were nocturnal. Because of the structure of their lungs, Paleobatrachus slept in the water most of the time. Paleobatrachus were carnivores. They mainly feasted on small fish and bugs using their long, sticky tongue to catch prey as they went past. Paleobatrachus was a type of frog that lived in the Mesozoic era. Like modern-day frogs, Paleobatrachus was an amphibian, living both on land and in water. Parasaurolophus is one of the rarer duckbills, with a large, elaborate crest on its head that functioned as a visual recognition of its species. With its narrow beak, Parasaurolophus was probably a selective grazer, able to pick up and choose the plant parts it wanted to eat. Some of these plants might have included pine needles, twigs, and leaves. Parasaurolophus was a plant-eating duck-billed dinosaur that lived in western North America during the late Cretaceous.
Scientists think that Parasaurolophus might have used its crest to communicate over long distances, as well as locate other group members, including their young, and warning the group of predators. Patinosaurus lived in the late Triassic time period and are known to have lived in what is now Italy. While it flew like other pterosaurs, Patinosaurus was much smaller than other types of flying dinosaurs. The fossils found indicate that it had very lightweight bones and single cusp teeth, which it used to chew bugs. Titanosaurus was a pterosaur, much like a pteranodon. Its name means flying lizard, as it shared many of the same features of a lizard, but was able to fly like a pteranodon. Biosaurus had a streamlined head and four flippers for navigating through the water. It cruised slowly through the water using only two flippers and four when it needed to hunt quickly for prey. Pliosaurus was a giant sea-going reptile that lived in Jurassic seas in the region of modern-day Europe. It is often referred to as the T-Rex of the ocean. This giant predator probably hunted and ate many different kinds of animals, including fish, squid, ammonites, and other seagoing reptiles. Scientists have discovered the largest documented pliosaur, measuring 50 feet long, which they refer to as Predator X. It was possibly the most fearsome creature to swim the seas. Proganochelys was believed to be about 3.3 feet in length. Other turtles, such as the leatherback sea turtle that exists today, can grow over 6 feet long and can weigh over 2,000 pounds. Similar to today's turtles, Proganochelys had bony shells and toothless beaks. Unlike today's turtles, their heads could not pull into their shells, and they had spikes on their tails for defense. This ancient turtle lived on land most of the time, and probably fed on a variety of plants. Proganochelys is the second oldest species of turtle ever discovered. Fossils found in both Germany and Thailand indicate that Proganochelys lived approximately 210 million years ago. Protoceratops was a ceratopsian dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. As a ceratopsian, Protoceratops belongs to the same group of dinosaurs as Triceratops. But instead of three horns on its head, Protoceratops had a small bump over its nose. Protoceratops was a plant-eating herbivore. Protoceratops grew to about six feet long. It had an oversized head with a large bony frill that was probably used to show off to other protoceratops. Pteranodons were found in North America and England and were thought to live during the late Cretaceous time period. Pteranodon had a tall bony crest on the back of their skull. The crest served two purposes to provide stabilization in flight, and to tell males and females apart, as the male crests were much bigger. This fish-eating flying reptile was one of the largest pterosaurs to ever live. It had a wingspan of up to 30 feet, which is about the length of a school bus. Pteranodon fossils have been found in marine rocks, 
which suggests that the animal spent much time gliding over the ocean waters searching for fish. Tilidus was about the size of a squirrel and was probably a great tree climber, just like squirrels are today. Tilidus means soft-haired. Tilidus was an omnivore, living on a diet of fruits, nuts, and bugs. Tilidus was a small mammal that lived alongside dinosaurs in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Pontosaurus is a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Australia during the Cretaceous time period. Living close to the South Pole, the large eyes of the Quantasaurus may have helped this herbivore see better during months of darkness each winter. Quantasaurus was a plant eater, or herbivore. Quantasaurus was fairly small, growing to about six feet long and three feet high. Quetzalcoatlus was a giant pterosaur that lived in what is now North America during the late Cretaceous time period. A pterosaur was a flying reptile and not a dinosaur. It may have done some fishing from the air. Quetzalcoatlus might have eaten a variety of animals that it found or hunted on the ground, including amphibians, reptiles, and rodent-like mammals. Quetzalcoatlus was one of the largest flying creatures ever, with a wingspan of 36 feet. That's the size of a small airplane. Raptorex was a meat-eating theropod that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Raptorex had powerful jaws and a crushing bite. It was probably an excellent hunter. This little carnivore had powerful jaws and was probably an excellent hunter of small dinosaurs. Raptorex is a close cousin of the Tyrannosaurus rex, but much smaller. Like T-Rex, it had short arms and a large head. Rhabdodon was a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Europe during the Cretaceous time period. Rhabdodon belongs to the same group of dinosaurs as Iguanodon and the duck-billed Corythosaurus. Rhabdodon was a plant-eater, or herbivore. Rhabdodon was similar to a modern-day deer in size. Sonajay, like other snakes, probably sensed its prey by feeling vibrations on the ground and sticking its tongue out to smell the air. Snakes like Sonajay use several senses to find their prey. They feel vibrations from the ground and stick out their forked tongues to smell creatures that are nearby. Like other snakes, Sonajay was a carnivore. It ate small animals, including baby dinosaurs. Sonajay was an extremely large snake that lived in India in the Cretaceous time period. Poseidon looks a lot like a giraffe. And just like giraffes, this huge dinosaur probably used its long neck to eat leaves high up in the trees. 
Saurosaurus Poseidon was a sauropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Saurosaurus Poseidon was a large plant-eating dinosaur. Poseidon was an enormous creature about a hundred feet long and 50 feet tall. Like all sauropods, it had a small head, a long neck and tail, and walked on four thick legs. Sauronithalestes was a small theropod dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means lizard bird thief. Like other theropods, Sauronithalestes was bipedal, which means that it moved around on two legs. It was probably a fast runner. Sauronithalestes probably ate little animals like lizards, mammals, and birds. Sauronithalestes was a feathered predator closely related to Velociraptor. Shonosaurus was a giant ichthyosaur, a kind of marine reptile that lived in the Triassic time period. Like whales, Shonosaurus was an air breather, which means it had to come up to the surface to get a breath of air. As one of the largest carnivores on land or sea, Shonosaurus was a slow-moving sea creature. It probably ate animals like squid and fish. The largest Shonosaurus grew up to 70 feet long and were shaped like some modern-day whales. Sinovenator is a close relative of Troodon. Sinovenator was tiny, about the size of a chicken, and covered with feathers. Sinovenator probably ate small animals like lizards, mammals, and birds. Sinovenator was a little theropod dinosaur from the Cretaceous time period. Its name means Chinese hunter. Spinosaurus lived in Africa during the late Cretaceous time period. Spinosaurus belongs to a group of dinosaurs called theropods. Its name means spiny lizard. Spinosaurus was a carnivore. It had a long face like a crocodile with plenty of teeth. Perfect for catching fish and other animals. Spinosaurus had a huge sail-like crest on its back that grew up to six feet tall. Like the plates of Stegosaurus, it may have been used for show and for controlling body temperature. Stegosaurus had large, bony plates on its back. Some paleontologists think that Stegosaurus used its plates to warm up on cold days and cool down on hot days. Although the Stegosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur, it had a small brain. In fact, it might be one of the smallest brains in all of the dinosaurs that have been discovered. Stegosaurus was a herbivore with a horny beak instead of front teeth and a set of flat teeth in the back of its jaw that were perfect for grinding up vegetation. This quadruped had an unusual stance. With an arched back, short forelimbs, its head held low to the ground, and its tail held high in the air.
Iggy Moloch had a super thick skull. Some scientists think that this animal used its head to bump the sides of other Stygimoloch. Although the horns of the Stygimoloch looked fierce, they were most likely used as a way to intimidate other members of the group. Stygimoloch was a herbivore that walked on two legs and lived in the late Cretaceous time period of what is now North America. Stygimoloch has an unusual set of horns and spikes on its head. Short little horns covered the nose and enormous backward pointing spikes grew out of the back of its skull. Styracosaurus was a ceratopsian dinosaur. It was a giant plant eater that lived in the late Cretaceous time period in North America. Styracosaurus, meaning spiked lizard, was a large dinosaur that grew to about 18 feet and weighed almost three tons. Like modern rhinoceros, this dinosaur probably traveled in herds for protection. Like other ceratopsians, the jaws of the Styracosaurus had a strong beak up front and plenty of slicing teeth behind. Perfect for dropping and slicing plant food. With its big nose horns, cheek horns, and multi-spiked frill, Styracosaurus probably looked really interesting. Therizinosaurus is a large feathered dinosaur from the Cretaceous. With short stubby legs, hot belly, long arms, and hands tipped with huge claws, it was one of the most bizarre looking dinosaurs. Therizinosaurus are best known for their long claws, which were on each of their six digits. These claws each measured over three feet in length. Using their long arms and claws to reach out and cut plants, Therizinosaurus were herbivores. Some scientists also believe that their claws were used for self-defense. By looking at fossils, scientists think that Therizinosaurus were slow creatures with a bulky thousand pound body structure Triceratops was a quadrupedal dinosaur that lived in western North America at the very end of the Cretaceous time period. Triceratops has one very large horn over each eye and a single much smaller horn over the nose. These were likely used to lock with the horns of an opponent and engage in wrestling contests of strength. Triceratops had a large parrot-like beak suited to slicing through vegetation like thick branch tree limbs. It had hundreds of teeth in the rear of the jaws for cutting up lots of tough plants. Triceratops had a huge bony frill on the back of its head, which was most likely used to keep the peace in large groups by showing other animals the oldest in the herd. Troodon was a small bipedal dinosaur with a big brain, which probably made it one of the smartest dinosaurs around. Troodon eye sockets are extremely large, which is characteristic of nocturnal animals, those that see and hunt in the dark. Troodon eyes were forward-facing, which meant they could see things far away. Unlike most dinosaurs feeding on either plants or meat, Troodon was most likely an omnivore, eating both plants and meat. Being an omnivore means it was easier to find a meal. Troodon lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Discovered as far as the North Pole, 
Scientists believe they lived in cooler, darker climates and were covered in feathers. With arms so tiny, Tyrannosaurus probably used its head to grab its prey. The shape and placement of the eye sockets in the Tyrannosaurus tell us that their eyes faced forward, which meant they could see far off in the distance. A big advantage for a hunter. Tyrannosaurus was a bipedal carnivore and was one of the biggest predators ever to live on land. This meant it had to eat a lot to survive. A grown-up could eat 500 pounds of meat in a single bite. Tyrannosaurus had a mouthful of teeth the size of bananas. Unlike humans that only replace their baby teeth once in their life, Tyrannosaurus replaced each tooth every few years. Utah Raptor was a fast-running theropod that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Utah Raptor grew to over 30 feet long. With its long running legs and a huge claw on each foot, Utah Raptor would have been an excellent predator. Although no feathers have been found with fossils of Utah Raptor, we know that many of its close relatives in Asia had feathers. So, Utah Raptor was probably feathered as well. Velociraptor is a small feathered dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous. It's only been found in Asia and lived in a desert habitat with sand dunes. Velociraptor was a bipedal feathered dinosaur that shared many of the same features as modern birds. It's most known for its long tail and large claws that stuck out from the back of each hind leg. Velociraptor is derived from the Latin words for quick and robber. It was given this name by scientists because it was a very fast carnivore. Velociraptor was a theropod in Central Asia and lived during the latter part of the Cretaceous time period. It was about the size of a turkey with a very long tail and known for being very fast. Velatica theorem was an amazing mammal, like modern-day flying squirrels. It could glide from tree to tree or from trees to the ground. Velatica theorem had large flaps of skin stretching from its front legs to its back legs. Although it couldn't fly, Velatica theorem glided from tree to tree or from trees to the ground. Velatica theorem was probably an insectivore, which means that it ate insects. It also may have been nocturnal or most active at night. Velotica theorem was a squirrel-sized mammal that lived in Asia during the Jurassic time period. Onanosaurus was a pachycephalosaur dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Onanosaurus grew to be just over three feet long, which makes it one of the smallest dinosaur herbivores known. Onanosaurus was a plant eater or herbivore. Like many kinds of dinosaurs, Onanosaurus is known from only one incomplete skeleton. To rebuild the whole skeleton, paleontologists had to look at the bones of close pachycephalosaur relatives. 
Xenotarsosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in South America during the Cretaceous time period. The name Xenotarsosaurus means strange ankle lizard because its ankle bones are different from most theropods. Xenotarsosaurus probably hunted small dinosaurs and other small animals. Xenotarsosaurus had four-fingered hands and three-toed feet. Although small for a theropod dinosaur, Xenotarsosaurus was an effective predator. Gangtuanosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia. With plenty of sharp teeth in their jaws, they would have been amazing predators. Yangchuanosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Jurassic time period. Yangchuanosaurus probably hunted plant-eating dinosaurs like stegosaurs and young sauropods. Some Yangchuanosaurus grew to be over 30 feet long. Like its close cousin, Quetzalcoatlus, Zhejiangopterus was a giant flying reptile or pterosaur. Unlike other pterosaurs, Zhejiangopterus did not have a crest or upright bone structure on the back of its head. It was larger than most pterosaurs, with a wingspan of over 16 feet wide. Like other pterosaurs, Zhejiangopterus dove into the water and caught fish. While they were larger than other pterosaurs, Zhejiangopterus had similar bone structure, just with longer necks and heads. Zhejiangopterus was a type of large pterosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous time period. Its fossils have been found throughout Asia and have been greatly preserved. Zygongosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Jurassic time period. Zygongosaurus was a lumbering four-footed herbivore with a small head and a super long neck. Zygongosaurus was a large plant-eating sauropod, a herbivore. Even though it grew up to 50 feet in length, Zygongosaurus was only medium-sized for a sauropod. <laughs>